Transit 2A and Grab 1 were launched on June 22, 1960 from Launch Complex 17B at Cape Canaveral. Transit 2A continued United States Navy testing of a satellite navigation system that would provide reliable information about ship positions. It was joined in this very early multiple payload launch by Grab 1, which was placed on top of it. Grab stood for Galactic Radiation and Background, making it sound a little like WMAB, a microwave background satellite. This, however, was just its cover name. Its actual goal was to get information about air defense radars in the Soviet Union. It passed through and picked up energy from those radars. The Grab satellite was known by a number of secret names, Dino, Canis, Project Telltale, Poppy One, and was also known as Solrad One due to the unclassified Solrad experiment inside it. Clearly, the sheer plethora of names was designed to confuse spies. And there was every reason to confuse them. This was the first successful intelligence satellite for the United States and the world, being launched before the first Soviet Zenit photo reconnaissance satellite in 1961. It was also launched before the first successful Corona program launch with a camera, Discoverer 14. Thus, it began the field of spy satellites which transmit their data rather than the orbit recoverable capsules. Transit 2A, for its part, continued the progress towards what would eventually become the Global Positioning System, or GPS. Transit 2A and Grab 1 were launched on a Thor Able Star rocket into a 614 km by 1058 km orbit with an inclination of 66.7 degrees to better allow passes over the Soviet Union. The combined mass of both satellites was 119 kilograms, with Grab 1 coming in at a mere 18 kilograms. Grab 1 transmitted its intelligence data for 3 months and the Solrad solar radiation data for 10 months. On that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Transit 2A and Grab 1.